Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? In this video, we'll show you how to install the power cable for the Bosch dishwasher. It's going to be a very easy repair. It should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For the job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a pair of wire strippers, a pair of pliers, a utility knife, and a strain relief. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new power cable, the clip, and the instructions. The power cable connects the wall power outlet to the dishwasher. If the dishwasher is not turning on and there are no lights at the control panel, the power cable should be checked and replaced if needed. This power cable is used when your old dishwasher that was hardwired in is replaced with a new Bosch dishwasher that does not allow a direct hardwire connection. It provides this power cable with the junction box. So I'm going to remove this tie. And then using a Phillips screwdriver, we're going to take out this four screws that holds the uh, cover. And lift the cover off. Uh, so you can see that uh, what we've got here is a connector block with uh, three wires and this hole on the side that allows the Romex to go into the junction box. So we're going to use the uh, strainer leaf to insert it into the opening. It's not supplied with the uh, power cable, but uh, you can get it anywhere in any hardware store. Insert it into the opening and then we're going to Tighten it. And I'm going to use the pliers to tighten it real good. So now we're going to take it uh, under the sink and uh, choose a good spot for it. Remember, we're not supposed to install this junction box behind the dishwasher. So we're going to open the door and get underneath of the sink and I'm going to choose the right spot for the junction box placement. We need to place it at the back wall near the opening in the divider. We're going to start uh, by putting this uh, cable into the hole in the divider and pull it out and then we're going to place this junction box on the spot that we plan to mount it on. Measure the length of the existing Romex cable, cut extra, leaving about uh, that much of the length, which will be inserted through this strain relief. And then we're going to strip all the wires and insert it into the connections. Imagine that the junction box is mounted on the wall under the sink. Before handling the Romex cable, make sure the power to it is off at the circuit breaker and cut it to fit into the box. So we're going to strip about uh, two to three inches off the end of the Romex. I'm going to use the utility knife, box cutter, whatever you can do. Even uh, scissors would, would work. Make sure the power is off to the Romex cable. And pull off the, all the insulation. And I'm going to cut it off. And we're going to strip uh, the black and the white wires. I'm going to use the wire strippers. Uh, approximately close to the uh, half inch. We're going to install it into the strain relief. And uh, 
I'm going to put first the wires in. So it goes uh, by the color code green, white, and black. Install the bare copper wire, which is the ground wire, into the green wire connector. And uh, using a Phillips screwdriver, tighten it. And we are going to install the white neutral wire. I'm actually going to pull it out a little bit to make it easier. Same procedure, Phillips screwdriver, tighten that screw real good. And the black wire goes the last. After that, we can tighten this strain relief. There's a couple of screws, a Phillips screwdriver. That will fix the, the Romex in one spot, prevent it from being pulled out of the junction box. And now we're going to place the uh, cover. Four screws to secure the cover to the box. Those are Phillips screws, the same we took out. All right, so now we're done under the sink. So we can move on and connect the uh, dishwasher to the power cord. I'm going to put the power cable through the strap. And uh, then I'm going to install that uh, clip on the cord. Slide it down a little bit. Then I'm going to plug this in. Push it in. All the way, and then we're gonna put in that uh, safety clip under the dishwasher base. All right now, we're gonna turn the dishwasher 90 degrees and install it under the counter. All right, and now we're gonna attach that. Uh, dishwasher to the counter, put the screws in, and secure the dishwasher to the countertop. I use the Phillips screwdriver, and we can close the door. After the dishwasher is installed, we can connect the water line and the drain line and turn on the power at the circuit breaker. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.